please feed the YouTube algorithm by giving the video a like. If you want to see more like this, click subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. If you want to chip in on my expenses, I now have Patreon and YouTube memberships. Welcome to the April 2022 Hua Hin Thailand train line construction drone flight video update. If you're familiar with the background of the train line project from previous videos, feel free to skip ahead to the timestamp shown on screen. For those of you new to the series, I've been flying my drone monthly around the train line construction in my town of Hua Hin Thailand starting back in April of 2021. Thailand is in the middle of a massive project to upgrade from a system of single tracks to a system of double tracks, plus additional high-speed rail links from Bangkok to the north towards Laos and China, and additional 160 km per hour mid-speed rail links to the south. One of the mid-speed lines is now under construction through Hua Hin. Concurrently to this, the main train station in Bangkok is moving from the century-old Hua Lam Phong station to the shiny new Bang Su station in the northwest part of the city. With the new mid-speed rail line and the better location of the Bang Su station, I'm hoping that the run from Hua Hin to Bangkok will take about two hours, rather than the five hours we currently encounter, and that's on a good day. These drone flights allow us to see the progress on things like the construction of the new Hua Hin station, the laying of the new second ground level tracks, the raised track sections, new bridges, elevated traffic overpasses in conjunction with the removal of ground level crossings for safety, and removal of encroaching buildings along the route to make way for the new lines and a wider road that will parallel the line all the way through town. My thanks go out to Jeff for his successful first monthly solo flights now that I've started my trip overseas. Here's a diagram we developed for the flight strategy taking into account radio reception and battery life all the way along the train line. I was a little scared as I reviewed this video, but Jeff assures me that he was in complete control. I'm editing this video from the Mutra Corniche area just east of downtown Muscat in the Sultanate of Oman. The food is great and I got lost in the huge souk market more than once. I'm told that's the Prime Minister's ship just out there in the harbor. I started my trip in Abu Dhabi and then I moved over to Dubai for a week and now I have a week in Oman before I move over to Qatar and then Barcelona for a month. You can follow me on Facebook for lots of detail and pictures on my travels. I'm including a trip from a dolphin watching and snorkeling trip so you can see a little of the local area. I didn't catch any news articles about the train this month, but an alert viewer spotted these nicely designed side wall pieces being installed on the station building. Just before I left, I saw this yellow construction train unit rolling slowly along the new track just north of Soy 70. I'm also curious what the structure underneath the elevated track is for. I caught a train coming into the station while we were filming an interview about my drone flying with Nook from the Wow Hua Hin YouTube channel. The video should be released soon, so check out their channel. The link is in the description. Lastly, I caught this train from ground level rolling through the Soy 56 crossing. Okay, Jeff, fire up the drone and let's get flying.
Hey, if you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my other content, I'd appreciate a subscribe. Take care and see you next time.